Hello and welcome to episode 86 of my Working with Todoist series. In this episode, I want to show you how I process my inbox on a daily basis. Now, the reason I'm going to do this, and I should point out I may have covered this already, but I decided I wanted to do this and last night I, I'd made the decision not to process my inbox. And as I was going to bed, I had this really uncomfortable feeling that I hadn't done something. And it really was quite an uncomfortable feeling because I process my inbox on a daily basis and I process it usually about 10, 10.30 p.m. in the evening, even on a Friday and a Saturday night. And making a decision not to process it had me feeling uncomfortable. And I realized this is because I've been following GTD for a very long time now, probably about seven, eight, eight years. And I've now got it. It's now a habit of mine to actually process every day. And that's not just my to do list. I also process my email every day, particularly in the evening. I go through my action this day folders and I when I go to bed, my mind is completely clear and not processing had my mind thinking, is there anything I need to do first thing in the morning? Unfortunately, there wasn't. I had a quick look and there wasn't anything that needed doing. But that just got me realizing that what I'd like to do today is just go through how I process my inbox and also to stress the point that if you truly want to get yourself organized and incredibly productive so that you're not missing anything important, then you need to get this process into a habit so that you're doing it every single day. Uh, I found that if I was doing it every two days, it just wouldn't sink in. It wouldn't, the importance of processing my inbox wouldn't sink in. So I strongly recommend that you get into the habit of doing this on a daily basis, whether you do it first thing in the morning or whether you do it last thing at night. It doesn't really matter when you do it, you need to fit it into the way that you prefer doing it, but it does need to be done every 24 hours. Okay, now before we do that, I just want to point something out. Uh, in an episode, recent episode, I, I went through how Newton email goes through, uh, is a really, really cool emailing app that you can use that link, links beautifully with Todoist. And until the 29th of November, that's Tuesday, you can get 50% off a year's subscription on Newton. So instead of it being $50 a year, it's only going to cost you $25 a year. <clears throat> I think for $25, the way that Newton, <clears throat> the beauty of Newton and the, 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 the solidity of Newton, I think that's a really, really good deal. And certainly it'll give you enough time to get into the habit of using Newton and for $25, why not? If you've got the cash, I strongly recommend you have a, have a play with that. Get that one year subscription and have it linked into your Todoist and you've got a, your email and Todoist talking together. Okay, so I just wanted to point that out. Newton are doing a 50% off special Black Friday offer and you've got, well, I'm recording this on Sunday the 27th so you've basically got two days. So the, the run, it, this offer runs out on Tuesday, the 29th of November. So there you go. Just get into that. Uh, if you're interested in Newton, if you're using it, then I strongly recommend that you take advantage of this great special offer. OK, let's get back into Todoist now and uh, show you how I'm... These uh, six items I collected yesterday, and uh, I'm just going to show you how I run through these. So. I do my processing at the end of the day. Uh, so we've got this one up here at the beginning. Now, there are many ways of processing your email, you can uh, your inbox. You can look at this and say, right, some of these are all uh, various things. But I know actually most of these are going to go into a different project already. So um, I'm going to look on this. So I click on that one and designer. I know this is a video. So what I'm going to do is at uh, computer because I usually watch all my videos on the computer on a weekend and uh, I don't put a date in this because I know that this is going to go to my to watch. Now, just before we go any further, what you can do is you can click on this and you can click the project uh, and you can scroll down to where you want it. Now, in this case, I know 
uh, that my is in my checklist. So all I need to do is we're a little, 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 um, but that that's quite a long way of doing it. So uh, what I prefer to do is I prefer to click on this. Um, I prefer to save it because I'm not going to put a date in it. Then click on the three dots and move to another project because this gives me um, uh, this gives me a drop down menu that I can use search. Now I know this is videos to watch, so I'm gonna click on that, bang, and it's gone. And now remind Jenny her bill is overdue. So this one is gonna be email. So I can um, I can go into email and I will probably do that on I'm seeing her on Tuesday, so I'm gonna do that on Tuesday. Um, and I'm going to flag that red because I need to see that in the morning so that I don't forget to remind it. I will see Jen at lunchtime. That's going to move to another project. I'm going to put student affairs because that's what it is. And that's that one done. Sort out my exercise program motivation. Oh, yes, this one is a problem. I'm just running out on the motivation at the moment. So um, I'm going to click on this one. And that's going to be th at thinking. And uh, again, I'm not going to put a, a date in that because it's not date specific. Move that to uh, another project. So I'm going to save that and I'm going to move that to another project. Now, I do know there are other ways of doing this and there is probably quicker ways of doing this. Um, but for me, um, I want to get that one in. So that goes into my excess. What is productivity? Now, this is uh, a question a lot of my students and a lot of my clients at the moment um, they're getting into their annual uh, evaluation time and a lot of companies these days are taking this word productivity and saying they must improve their activity, productivity. However, one of the problems we have is um, <clears throat> they don't really know what that means. So what I'm going to do is I'm changing the name of this because I, I just grabbed that as I was leaving an office. So find out a working definition of, and then I'm going to put that productivity. Now that one is definitely a thinking about because I'm going to be thinking about that one. And it's for students. So I've got a, a for students, so I've got a label for students. Um, and I'm going to do this on Monday. Yeah, Monday's not too busy, so I can do Monday. Um, Monday's busy for actual classes and so on, but it's not uh, a big problem. Move to another project. Again, I'm just going to type in students, student affairs, bang. That's going to go. Put in the Peter K garlic bread and song lyrics into first class business file for next week. That's at computer because I know that's um, that's at computer. So I'm going to go at computer and I will do that on Wednesday because that's when I prepare that file. And that's going to get moved into, I know that's going to go to a routines folder. Um, uh, monthly. Yep, that, oh, no, 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 it's weekly. I'm going to put that in there. That's gone into weekly. And actually, yeah, okay, that's not actually routines. I just realized that's a mistake. So when you made a mistake, as long as you know where it's gone, this has gone down at the bottom, that was a mistake. It doesn't go in there. Now, here's a cool way. I know uh, that this is going to be a work single action. So I'm just going to drag that out and I'm going to move it into there. That's where it actually belongs. Let's get back into my inbox and we've got continue working on 2007 te template. That's going to be on Friday because I know that's when I like doing my design work. And I'm going to and it's going to be the end of the day. Move to another project. That's going to be work. Actually, I can just go single, single and that's work. So and that is basically how I process my inbox at the end of the day. That's taken about five minutes to process uh, six tasks. Um, and that's essentially how I do it. So that when I finish my day, my inbox is empty and I can feel relaxed and sleep well. Before I finish my processing, by the way, I always put my um, projects up here, get them back into their nice clean order so that when I start the day, everything is clean except for my today and next seven days okay so i hope you found that useful don't forget those of you who are using newton you can get 50 percent off a newton subscription if you sign up for a subscription before tuesday the 29th so don't forget to have a look at that if you're using newton and for the rest of you 
I just wish you all, well, for all of you, I wish you all a very, very productive week.